Why do I do these videos? I've talked about it before, but that was probably 60 videos ago, and I'm getting a lot of questions, so let's get into it. Here's your story, let's begin. The water's fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. Yeah, I forget that time goes on, and these videos really add up. I don't know, I've got 70, 80, 90 videos or something, and everybody it's not realistic that everybody's going to see all these videos and so things that are maybe of concern to you i might have talked about in the past but you're not aware of it so recently i've got quite a few questions relating to this so i figured let's just do one and cover it again or maybe in a little better detail first of all i want to say what these videos aren't. They're not really for people already living here in A. Unless you're relatively new. You're probably going to be bored. Maybe not, and a different viewpoint, a different perspective, a different path on life might be interesting to some, but in general, if you've been here for a while, you're probably going to look at this video and go, yeah, I already know that's old news, and just be bored with it and sometimes I actually get people complain to me and you know please don't complain about it it's not for you and so of course it's going to be boring if you already know everything I'm talking about so you know don't watch them I'd rather you just didn't watch it than send me a complaint that I'm, I'm talking about things that you already know you know it's not for you another thing they're really not about is they're not about me. Um, I include, out of necessity, some things about myself. But as I've mentioned before, I hate being filmed. I hate being in front of a camera. I've got a face like a toad. I have a grating voice. I have a monotonous way to talk. And I understand all that. I have no delusions. I'm certainly not... Uh, you know, Brad Pitt or Walter Cronkite or any personality like that. In my life, I'm rather personal, I'm rather private, and while I might throw some things out that pertain, these videos are not about me sitting here talking about my life and my views on everything out there. These videos are about living in Ecuador, particularly Cuenca and the surrounding area. And they are for, what are they for? This is what they're for. They're for people planning to come here or recently arrived here and they're facing all the things that the rest of us faced and they're looking for answers. It's also the number one reason I began these is prior to me coming, <clears throat> I did what you did. I looked all over the internet, I looked at information, fortunately I have a friend who is from here, lives here. Um, She's been here her entire life, well, except for two years visiting the U.S. But So I could talk to her and get the straight scoop. But what I did find all over the Internet, uh, and websites like International Lying and things like that, it's not true. There's a lot of information that is simply false. There are a lot of people with a vested interest in selling you Ecuador. They, they're making their money, they're making their living off getting you here. And if this is what you want, and this is where you want to come, and this is where you want to live, that's it's perfectly fine. But if you get that information, and it's, it's, it's always the more expensive, more professional looking sites and things like that, and it's the worst information, it's... It's simply not realistic. And if you listen to those things and you believe them and you come here, uh, it could be a problem. And what really prompted me to do videos along this line is seeing a couple people that were essentially retired. And there was one guy, one, one woman, and if they see this, I'm not going to mention your name, but the guy was living on Social Security. He was 67 years old, I believe, is. And his Social Security wasn't even $900, 800 and some odd dollars. 
and she was a little better off. I believe she was somewhere around $1,200, but in both cases, they certainly didn't have a lot of money, and it was difficult for them to plan and come up with the money for the airplane ticket, to bring the things that they had to have. They couldn't afford the big shipping containers. They thought they could get things cheap here because they saw on one website how you can get homemade furniture and you know fill your house for a couple hundred dollars. Once they got here, well, maybe they liked it. Actually, they both liked it. They liked it here, but they couldn't afford to live here. You know, I have videos about that, but the, the stories about the cost of living left out the other half of the story. It left out so much information. They were told that it's perpetual spring. You see that all the time. And they talk about how you, you don't need heat and you don't need air conditioning, and that's true. But you also have days, weeks, and months where you don't have to have air conditioning, but you're probably going to want to wear a sweater. If you're watching TV, you're going to want to wrap up in a couple of blankets because it can get pretty cold. It can drop down to the 40s or 50s at night. Now, is that all the time? No. And I go around in t-shirts, and but I'm from upstate New York, so I was born and raised an Eskimo, basically. But for a lot of people, they get here and they find out they can't afford to live here, the weather isn't what they thought, the, the people, the atmosphere, whatever, it wasn't what they thought. They weren't given an accurate representation. And now they made that choice, they made that great leap, and they can't afford to leave. And so they're really struggling and they're kind of miserable because at home where they're from, they struggled, but they had people they knew. There was, uh, in his case, there was a church that, you know, kind of looked out for him and, and, and those kind of things. And it takes a long time to rebuild or build that in a place where you, you don't know anybody and you don't know the language. And so in their case, it put them really behind the eight ball, put them in a tough spot. And after talking to them, I, you know, somebody needs to give the other side of this. Now, there's, there's a couple people doing it, and one that I really like, and I actually have met him, and I know his son pretty well, and his son, they just got married. Um, his son got married, and I know her, and they're, they're wonderful people. And I love his videos. I watch every one of them. But he's focused on some particular things, you know, primarily surrounding cost of living and some practical ways to get around it and how to find good deals. And it's, it's all good stuff. Uh, my purpose of my videos is, I do some of that, but I try to give an overall picture of what to expect. You know, uh, well, you see my video so that you have the idea. So I'm trying to give you a well-rounded, realistic picture. And I get a lot of hate emails whenever I talk about something negative. But you know, to sit here and pretend that Ecuador is paradise on earth is a bald-faced lie. Ecuador is a wonderful place. I'm living here. I chose to live here. I didn't fall into that trap, fortunately, because I had an inside person. So I made a good decision. I'm very happy. I've been here going on a couple of years now. So um, I'm content. But I also knew the lies were the lies. And many people don't know that. And it's such, it's, it puts them in such a bad position. You have to be honest about some place. You're affecting people's life decisions. You're affecting their finances. And so in these videos, if the cost of living isn't what they say, or there's another side to that, if um, the weather isn't what it's you know, purported to be, or you name it, then I try to put that out there, not to slam Ecuador, because that's not my point. I, I like it here. I'm not slamming Ecuador. What I'm doing is simply pointing out the things that people may not know. And if you're making a life decision, you need to know. You need to know 
to make a good decision so you don't get here and find yourself trapped and, and, and be stuck. I don't want to see anybody in that situation. It's heartbreaking to see. And so that's the purpose. So when I talk about you can't get a good cheese, it's so hard. Well, if you're a cheese lover, if you like a great aged cheddar and things like that, is it, is it a deal breaker? No, because I'm here and I love cheese. It's one of my joys in life is cheese. And you have to hunt and search and you find a few things and like that, but you're not going to run to the store and buy yourself some good cheeses and make good macaroni and cheese and forget it. Take it out of your life. It won't exist anymore. Beef is horrible. I've done vid videos on that. It's, it's the worst quality. They're old milk cows that, you know, they don't put out milk anymore and so they chop them up and sell them for me. It's just nasty. Beef is my favorite meat and I rarely eat it here. Was it a deal breaker for me? No, that's okay. I can, because there are enough positive things, it's a trade-off. Anywhere you live, you're gonna have a trade-off. My favorite place on this planet, I've been to 18, 19 different countries. I've lived outside of the United States in three different countries. But my favorite place on this planet is upstate New York. It's the absolute most beautiful place. The only problem is, it's only that way six months out of the year. In the other six months, it's hell on earth. You know, believe me, just look at the news any time in the winter. What I am is a person with certain experiences and background and study and world knowledge that can put together videos that hopefully are going to help you make these you know, serious decisions. I want you to know, I don't, these are not paid promotions. I'm not promoting anybody. I'm not promoting a business or businesses. I'm not being sponsored by anyone. This is like a hobby for me. It's important that you know that because there's nothing behind it. Now I get messages daily and some of the messages I get are, when I get there, can you help me find an apartment? When I get there, da 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 I'm not here for that. I'm not a real estate person. I'm not involved in something. I don't get kickbacks on that. I want you to make your decision. I give you guidelines in these videos of how to go about that. Now, I do meet with people from time to time. We grab lunch. They pick my brain. We have conversations. And that's perfectly okay. And I don't charge for that. So I keep getting asked, what's my fee to meet up? There is no fee. I, this isn't a business for me. And so that doesn't exist. The minute I start doing something like that, I hook up with a real estate guy or something like that, is when the information becomes tainted. Even if I do my best, it can, it'll be viewed as tainted. So it's not the, I want you to have a source that you can rely on. So the bottom line is I do these videos because I have time to do them, because there's a need, and based on the amount of comments and messages and emails I get, um, there's a rather large need. Um, and so that's, that's the point. I'm gratified to get all the good feedback. I will say, as I said once before, that person who is living in Cuenca that watches these videos and wants to hit the dislike on every video, it's really getting kind of annoying. You know, you, if, if you look through my list of videos, the dislikes, in most cases, you're going to see one. And it's the same person. It kicks up the IP address. So I know it's the same person every time. And he, he lives here. And so he's seeing these. He's bored. He thinks he knows better. And maybe he does. Stop watching them. Because, you know, I look at those dislikes. And if there's a dislike, then I really try to figure out what's going on. What could, how can I make it better? What did I do wrong? And I come to the realization that it's you doing it. It's, it's, it doesn't help anyone, you know, so if you want to troll, go troll somebody else, please. So, little side issue, little, little vent there. 
Um, <clears throat> so hopefully doing these videos, I'm helping somebody for, uh, to prevent making a big mistake. If you like watching these videos, please like them, subscribe, um, you can share them, feel free to email me if you're coming here and you want to meet up, if we can line up our times, happy to do that. If you uh, ever want a little tour around the town I live in, um, this is to anybody out there, you know, let me know, we can hook up for lunch, we walk around the little town. Thank you for watching. I'm really gratified with all the feedback, all the comments, and the volume of people that are watching these videos. I, I really appreciate it. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm doing something useful. You know you could.